Right, so here we are Aaron. Aaron gets the uh, the luxury of driving the car for the first time. So we're in the new car. Um, and it's probably a, a good, um, good thing to show people on driving a new car. If you've been taught in the correct way, you shouldn't have major, major issues. A few things are going to be different. We're going to quickly whiz through them and then we will... Um, We'll try and get going and see where you're at. Yeah. All right, Aaron? Yeah. So, cockpit drill. What part did you do first in the old car? What did you, what part of the seat? Or, oh, oh, sorry, not even that. What, what was the Lock first the part? Door. Lock the doors. Have you got any idea how you could potentially do Yeah, good, go on then, press that. Is that done all of them? Excellent. Yeah. So, that worked the same. That's all good. What was the next bit that you moving the seat at right height? Moving the seat. Now, this was pretty awkward on the other one. The handle is in exactly the same place, but it's a pump lever, Heron. So pump it up. Harder. Oh, no. oh, not that one, the one in front of that. So keep pumping it. Okay. Keep pumping it. Until your eyes are approximately where? About halfway up. Yeah. Feel okay? Yeah, so to go down, just pump it down. Have a go. How yeah. easy is that? A lot easier. A lot easier. Okay, sound. Um, the back part of the seat, you've already found out where it is. Yeah. The moving, yeah, if you want to sit wherever you wish, that's all good. Oh. <laughs> Works in the same way. If you lift yeah. yourself off it and then yeah, it's, all right. it's all good. Um, the forward backwardsness of the seat is in the same position, so it's behind your left heel. You've got it. Hold your wheel as well if you need to. Good. Yeah, that's it. Toes on the pedals. Uh, that's that one. Yeah, you're spot on, Aaron. Good. And can you press that clutch all the way down? Nope. Stretching a little. Yeah. That better? Yeah. Okay. Feel comfortable? Yeah. Feel as though you can pivot your foot from one to the other? Yeah. Okay. Wicked. There are some brackets above the pedals on the dual controls because we've had to wing it a little, little bit with this car because the dual control manufacturers don't make them for this car so we've had to get universal ones. Is that because it's a new car? No, it's because no one's as stupid as me to buy this type of car to do lessons in. However, um, they are all working. You can see them this side. Okay. Um, do you say it goes down? When... This one does now, yeah. But I just push it down? Yeah. So I can oh, see yeah. I can I can see what you're doing with them. So I've got to keep my feet out of the way. So they're they're not as good as the other ones, if I was honest, but they still work in a similar way. Alright? Mm -hmm. Um but there are brackets just slightly above the pedals, so it if you slide your foot up, you might be able to feel those brackets. Yeah. You can sound. Yeah. So if your foot's up there, it's your the foot's way. too high. Yeah. It's in the wrong <laughs> position. So honestly it makes no difference whatsoever. So are we all good with our seating position? Does your steering wheel feel the correct sort of distance away? No. Feels a bit close? Yeah. Okay, super. It's not by your left knee like it was. It's underneath the steering wheel, so find a little thing that you can pull down and out. Have you got it? No. Yeah. Good. Go on then. Pull it down. Push the steering wheel physically in. Feel okay? Yeah. Lock it back into place. Happy? Yeah. So we're okay with that. Um, it's all right. I'll just get rid of. Um, I'll get rid of Tommy. Um, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no one's rang. He's gone anyway. Me. No one's rang me in this car yet. Anyway, um, so that's all right. Um, it was probably one of these little dials here. Yeah, see, there's like a little twizzy dial. You probably would have moved it down and then just then, pressed the, oh the other goodness. button. But anyway, all right, so we're all okay with that. Um, so not much is really different, is it? Yeah. Okay. Do you feel as though the head restraint needs moving? That's fine. The button to actually move it, if you look, is there. Okay. So it's rather than being down at the bottom. Try Just try moving it down a little bit, Aaron. Yeah, so put your hands at the side of your ears. Good, find the button, push it in, move it down a little touch. There okay. you go. Yeah. Feel okay? Yeah, sorry. Sorted. So we're okay with that. Anything else? Um, mirrors. Mirrors, super. So you can go so on. the same button? Exactly the same button. Would you like a light on? That's right. 
<laughs> what windows are on? Would you like a, a light? Yeah, please. Look. Those are just the switch out. There you go. So actually work it out. So same sort of proportions as we've been seeing with um, the other car. Try not to move your head too much here and look down the road. Just glance. Okay with that? Mm -hmm. What's the button next to it? It's like a little orange thing. Well, they're all orange. To but... fold the mirrors electrically in. Okay. Okay. Sound, it's the same sort of proportions. Oh good. And yeah, that one's it's it's a frameless mirror, it's quite nice and slim line, but yeah, you can use that in the same way, top and bottom of the back window. Yeah. Okay. All good? Mm -hmm. Anything else? See about. Go for it. So has that been that difficult to chuck yourself over to a new car getting it set up? No. No, it hasn't. Okay. So what checks do you make before you start an engine? That's a neutral. Good. And the handbrake. The handbrake's on. I've quickly shown you where the handbrake is. So is that on? Uh, it will be on because the car's switched off. Okay. So give the gear stick a yeah, a wobble. You can press the clutch down again, Aaron. Press it all the way down. And then you start buttons down here this time. There we go. Relax. All good. Um I'm not going to worry too much about getting you to clear the windscreen and that stuff tonight because it's the first time that we've driven in the dark as well. But I am going to get you to just wipe the windscreen just once, one little wipe. And the stalks are on the right hand side and just nudge it down a nudge. That wipes it once and we're all good. And to put it on like probably to put it down. You actually know you click it up. Remember there used to be a button at the side? Yeah actually not in this one all you do is just click it up one click and then that goes to automatic so it's dead easy and dead simple um the rear demister is it a little bit misted up back there it is isn't it have a look at these two that's the one that says rear <laughs> go for it it's actually very very simple isn't it good um and the front um we can probably turn the fans up if you look at these two displays in the middle um, the set to be on the windscreen so what do you think you would do to actually turn the fan up what button looks as though it's a fan good maybe do it another one to be fair Aaron. and temperature temperature dials are this are they not these? Uh, no, they're, they're the direction of the vents. Okay. But these are the temperature dials, so you press down, down to go colder. down and, and red to go up. Yeah. So you do that as and where you need. You warm? Yeah. Okay, I shall put mine down to match. Not a problem. So we're all okay. We've got automatic lights on. Um, what lights do you think we should need at this time of night? Headlights. Dipped, dipped headlights, headlights. Dipped headlights, yeah. And if you look to your right knee, there's a, a switch down at the right hand side that actually um, says automatic and got a button on. Oh, uh, yeah, there's like legs buttons there. Yeah. Are they all for the lights. Yeah, so the automatic. Auto's on. on, yeah. Auto's on, so that's easy enough as well, isn't it? Don't need to worry about that. We're just going to have a quick go at disconnecting the handbrake and putting it back on. So give you brake pedal the squeeze a little squeeze and just push that down that takes it off can you feel your brake move as well mm -hmm. Get yeah. right back up. lift it back on that's all you do that move the brake back down easy enough isn't it yes okay so there's nothing drastic about that um your display is a little bit different in front of you um you've got your speedo um on this left hand side you've got um also if you look out to the windscreen do you see that you've got your speedo on a heads up display on your windscreen or can't you see that i can see it but should i be able to see that okay does it need to come up a little well, if i sit normally i can't see it at all okay so i mean i need to go up or no nope. um you might need to go up a little bit try lifting your seat up a little bit pump it up a little bit until you feel as though you can Still? see it if I'm sitting forward, I can see it like just. Okay, watch this then. 
So leave your seat there, make sure your mirrors haven't changed. I'm going to show you that you can adjust it as well. Feel okay with that? Do you need to change at all the mirrors? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A little tweak. That was okay. Okay, super. Uh, I'm going to get you to go through this. Uh, it's just press this car button for me. Excellent. And uh, press settings. It's all touch screen. No problems. And then you can, it's all got slides. Oops, I'm just going to go back out. But you can slide them, you see. Okay. But it is under displays. So press displays. Good. Uh, which one's the head up display? Display. Display. And look, you can change the height on it. So what do you think you should do? Keep moving it until you can see it. See it okay? Yeah. Super. It tells you what speed's in at the road. There you so. go, so it's dead easy. And then this one, top left hand corner, press you back to the home screen. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you've got your speed limit out in front Is of you. The, um, pedals further to the right in this car. Do you feel they are? Yeah. They might very well be, to be honest. Okay. No problems. That's okay. Um, just get used to have them over that side but everything works in the same way um, honestly Aaron the only other thing is your indicator we've got proper indicators on this car indicators that what do you, mean proper? Um, you know we used to have to give them a little push yeah um, you don't they click down and stay down so just put a left signal on but before you do remember have a little check make sure there's no issues and then just move this stalk down a bit further and it stays down okay and then will it come back up if I do a left hand um, if you undid your steering and straightened back up, yes it would, but just click it up to that halfway position, there you go, and have a little look, is there anyone around that's going to be affected by right signal, maybe there's an oncoming car, but we're not going to do it then, would it but be up? it would just be up, okay. very simple, um, the rest of the stuff Erin is exactly the same as we've been doing, shall we have a little go, yeah, go on then, press the clutch into one, Excellent, and you don't even need to bother with a handbrake. Um, just have a little squeeze of the gas pedal, feel the sensitivity. Don't look at it, Erin, just feel it and listen to it. Okay, so that's okay, you've got plenty of power there. A little bit more sensitive than the other one, do you think? Okay, it's not a problem, you've got it though. Try not to watch the displays too much, try and listen. Yeah? yeah. Good. Now, if you're ready, Erin, you can literally you can move off. So, um, do your checks that you need to make. Where do you check before you move? Find a spot, we good? Yeah. Go on, a little squeeze of gas, find a little bit of bite, and you'll feel us just move away. There you go. First person to officially have a lesson in my car. Good. Nice job. This car coming the other way, I'm going to help you with. Okay. Alright. If we back off the gas a little, Erin, and just keep slightly more to the left-hand side, a bit more to me, and just keep lovely and straight, that car can then, come in a little bit more maybe, can then go past, out the way, and then we can touch the gas and carry on again. Okay. Anyone overtaking us? No. Okay, go on in. a little squeeze of gas. Well done. And have a little go away from this one, Erin. That's it. Have a little go at second gear as well. In fact, probably don't, just for a little moment, just until we know what's going on with this white one. Is it okay? What do you think? Yeah, it's fine. It's not okay. Come into the left, off the gas. Good. Stay straight now. And I think we can go around this one. Keep going. Move, up, move away to the right a little. Good. Keep straight now. That's fine. Just keep slow. Come off the gas as well, Erin. Back into the left a little. Clutch down to the floor and just gently brake and just feel what the car's doing. Feel good? Yeah. Then drive on again. So a little bit of gas, a little bit of bite and check no one's overtaking you as well. We all good? Yeah. So how's the first sort of like Sorry. feel of the car? What do you think? Not yeah. too bad? Yeah. Come, have a little go into gear. Have a go at your first gear change. Clutch down fully. That's it. Is that the correct gear? Um, yeah, it certainly is. But make sure when you press the clutch, you press it down. quickly. Okay. Good. How does the steering feel? That's right. Yep. Do you feel as though you... are a lot more sensitive. Do you think? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's all right. We've taught you how to be uh, good with them. That's all fine. I thought you actually moved off and, uh, and stopped and then 
stopped again and then moved off again with all the cars coming the other way. I thought you did a great job with that, to be honest. No, perhaps. Hold on. Keep away from these park ones. And then we're going to turn left, please, at the end. So, normal things. What do you need to do? Start braking slowly. Who's behind us first? Anyone this side? Signal mm -hmm. left. Gently brake, clutch down. Good. Let it roll and steer around the bend. Put it in first. Keep braking. Steer around the bend a bit more. So let it roll. Let it roll. Keep rolling. That's good. Well then, keep rolling if you wish. You're not quite up to that line, are you? When are you up to the line, do you think, Kevin? About there? Yeah. Is the bus stopped? Can we go? Yeah. Good. Gas a little bit by. Don't steer anymore because you're not looking left. Take a little bit of steering off. Take some 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 off. Okay, look where you're going, not where you're pointing. Mm -hmm. Alright, what should we be doing now? Speeding up. Clutch down fully and quickly. Oh. You put it in fourth, clutch back up. Oh my goodness. You didn't use the pressure across towards the left hand side. Okay. Alright. So you've got to keep the pressure, palming method, remember? Yeah. yeah? Good. So I put you in two. You're all good. I'll squeeze your gas a little bit more, and you're okay. And have a little go into third. Clutch down off gas. Good. Try not to snatch at the gears. You don't need to. Relax your hands. You're doing a good job. Is your normal position taken from where should you be in the road? Yeah. Good. Well done. We're just going to follow the road ahead for a little bit. What lane at the lights do you think you should be picking? The left one. Good, well done. Are you okay dealing with this slowdown? Who's behind us? Nobody. Mm -hmm. We're going left. Straight. Straight. Good. Less brake, less smooth. There you go, good job. Now we're going to have a quick go with the handbrakes. Put your handbrake on, feel the little button. Back a bit, back a bit. There it is. Put it into first gear. Good. And then literally when we go, we don't have to release the handbrake. Can I take my foot off the clutch? No, because no, we're yeah, still yeah, in gear. I know that. Yeah? No, testing okay. you. <laughs> testing <laughs> me. Good effort. So literally, yeah, when we go, Erin, it's just squeeze a little Damn. bit of power. No, you don't need to touch the handbrake. Erin, let's go by Just itself. hold the steering wheel, it will go off by itself. So all you do is have a little squeeze of gas and feed the power in. And we're going to be going now. There we go. So a little squeeze of gas. Feed the power in. Good. Keep to your left hand side. Keep to your left hand side. What should we be doing with the pedals, Erin? Speeding up. Go on then. Now keep the pressure across this way for second gear. Clutch down fully off gas. That's better. Oh. Good. Just smooth it out a little bit, Erin. Yeah. Well done. Do you feel as though the vision in this car is a little bit better? Do you feel as though you're a little bit higher up? Yeah. Good. Yeah. So have a go your feet again, clutch down fully and quickly, into third, good, and relax, nice and chilled, you did a great job with that as well. Oh good, what should we do with the van in front? How much space have we got to his left? We alright now? Yeah. We, would we have had to slow down? Or if there was, wasn't enough room, yeah, you have to Don't give... Don't we, we had enough room then. Okay. Do you not? Um, to be honest, um, it's when you're coming up to it, you should be slowing until you're certain okay. anyway. Um, just be careful of the lights here. Just be wary. Good. A little squeeze of gas again. And should we go and have a little go at that corner, the one we oh. did down there again? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Super. Just remember to relax your hands and use the gear stick, not snatched, but work off neutral and then put it into the appropriate gear okay so we are going to shortly turn left have a listen and do you think it needs a lower gear clutch down then keep braking bring the clutch back up again good what do you think are they all going to move enough don't think so are they clutch down again into first and just roll us up let's break now a little bit of gas a little bit of bite just creep Good, well done. We can just have a little check this side out and put a left signal on as well. Are we good? Yeah. Good. What's your corner like, Erin? How far around there can you see? 
his view a little bit better to see it. Yeah. It is, isn't it? What should we I do guess. now? What should we do? Guess. Absolutely. To change to the Good, thing. remember your hand position. What was that like? Yeah. Better? Yeah. Good. Hold on. We're going to find somewhere to park in on the left as well, please. Yeah, good. Gently slow, don't get too close. That's about right. Clutch down. Still got a list now. Yeah, secure your car. So, handbrake is that little button. Lift it up. Oh, up. Good. Oh, Take it out of gear. Good. Yeah. Up is on, just like in the old car. And down is off. Yeah. Hold on. Just be a little bit gentle with your hands and relax. Any questions? No. So, um, is there anything that you're not sure of in this car? Is there anything? No, I just need to work on my mirrors more. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what made you think that? What, what made you? Just keep having to remind me still. A little bit, a little bit. But um, you know, at the end of the day, it's the first time we've driven in the dark as well, isn't it? You've had your lessons in the daytime. It's also um, twenty past five on a Monday evening. We usually do our lessons on a Saturday, although they go out to. Uh, all our viewers on a Sunday, and they usually are recorded on a Saturday. So, at the end of the day, Aaron, for that first little bit, you've done brilliantly. You know, you really have. I think done that well. corner was a lot better than last. Wasn't time. it? Okay. I looked. Because you looked. Where I was going. And you know what? It was one of the things that um, I was really, really excited about seeing how people would react to driving this car compared to the other one. Did you feel in the other one? We were sat sort of down and in it a bit? Yeah. Me too. I felt and like when you like, so you'd adjust your seat properly and then start to drive and it just like, it just wouldn't be the same if that makes sense. I think that's because I set up to do it like, correct. do it and, like that and, and then when and I'm people, driving. People do, yeah, people do. They relax a little bit into the drive and they sit in the seat a little bit. Absolutely. But what I'm getting at here, do you feel as though you can see like nearer the car down on the floor and a little bit closer to your car over the bonnet? Yeah. We're sort of less in it and we're sort of like more up here mm -hmm. and I honestly thought that that was going to be a big big help to a lot of people you included and I think that last corner has proved it okay really good um controls wise they do feel a little bit different don't they but have you noticed the way that we've taught you you've been able to jump in a brand new car and just drive it and just sort it out so it did really well um, I think what we'll do as well, Erin, um, we're going to go down to the very end and we're just going to spread our wings a little bit. We did this little block last yeah. time for a touch and what I'd probably suggest is us maybe going a little bit somewhere, somewhere different. We'll see what we can do. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Do you need to ask me anything about the car or anything before we go? No. Go on, off we go. Probably a comfy in my blasted seat, by the way. I need to have a bit more of a gangster lean, I think. Right, so do I put it in gear Good. and then do all my checks? Put it in gear so you're ready. And then, honestly, all you do is just do your checks and then work your feet. I need to, I need to put on a signal. So if I go, oh no, I am going to put on a signal when I know I'm going to go. Well done. Otherwise I'll find my driving test. <laughs> no, 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 you'll confuse these people behind yeah. think you're moving off. Now it's clear behind. Well done, where else do you check before you go? Good, we got over there? Yep. A little bit of power feeding it, feed it in. Straight to a little bit of accelerate now. Clutch fully and firmly. There you go, that was better with your hands as well. Good. Were you a little bit nervous of driving this? Yeah. Were you? Okay. Um, do you think it was, uh, I didn't have this planned as well Erin, by the way, it's just because I've had uh, a cancellation and I just thought, yeah, let's just go off and uh, let Erin be the first one. I think you deserve to be the first one as well, to be fair. Really well done. It's a bit smoother over the bumps as well, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think it's a little bit quieter? Yeah? Okay. That's good. Hold on. So you've got a couple of uh, lads on the kick about with a game of footy or a football so just be careful I don't think there's any issues with them now is there? Shall we just 
centre up with these? Um, if you can, however, if you look go. at the taxi, might be a good distance from the taxi. Yeah, it'd be fine. Excellent. Hold on for centre and number as well. Nice job. What's the car doing up ahead? It did have white lights on at the back of it for a little second. Do you know what those white lights mean, Erin? Is it that they got them, uh, that thing where you got to stop? <laughs> Words just come out of your mouth sometimes, don't they? <laughs> All right, Sam. Um, um, they're like when you. Oh, I don't know how to. I think I know what I'm trying to say, but you clearly don't. Let's stop in lights, basically. Reverse. Hazards aren't no reverse, reverse lights. lights. Well, I was wrong anyway. <laughs> You're okay, Aaron. It's all right. But yeah, white lights on at the back of someone. It's reversing lights. So if you ever see someone with them on, you know what's uh, potentially going on. All good. I think the heads up display stops you looking down at the uh, dials as much as well. Yeah. It does, oh, doesn't it? It does when you're breaking the speed limit too. It does, doesn't it? You sorted it. Hold on. Feel okay? Mm hmm. Good. Hold on. Is she going to get to the end? And we're going to do a right turn, we'll please, today. So keep it going. Is anyone overtaking us? Just keep mm -hmm. away from this one to the left a bit. Nice job. And indicate once we get past this road. Just keep it going for a bit, Aaron, because okay. you're slowing too a little bit too soon. Who's who's behind? Who's um, overtaking you? No when, when are you going to signal to the white one behind? About now? No. Yeah, good. Well done. So, what should we do with the feet? Have a listen. Is the engine finished in that gear? Press yep. the clutch down then. Keep braking. Put it in first as we're rolling up. Keep rolling up and stop when you think you're up to the road. Perfect. How do you put your handbrake on? And keep looking quickly. Good, you found. Yeah. Keep looking quickly both ways. Keep looking quick. And all you need to go, Aaron, is just literally squeeze the gas and start feeding the power in. Just keep looking both ways. Oh my goodness. Don't worry. There's never an issue with waiting, so don't worry feel it under any pressure all you can do is just go when it's good to go that's all you can do keep looking quickly is there a gap approaching at the back of these four or five cars yeah but not that way okay oh that's, wait there is one now might be might there just keep looking quickly keep looking quick so is there still a gap to the right yes and is there a gap, gap after yeah. these mm, no. no okay keep looking quick keep looking quick keep looking quick Where? keep looking quick oh. it's all right keep looking quick that after this one to the left. Nope, keep looking quick. You're all right, you'll find your space. Just make sure you're looking quickly so you don't miss it. <laughs> well done. It's just that time of day, Aaron, that's all. Yeah, this is the most nice I've ever been. There's nothing you can do. Just don't rush when you do actually take the space as well Aaron because your gap will come you will not be sat here forever just That's keep like looking it. quick is All there right. a gap coming both ways yes good keep looking quick squeeze the gas start feeding the power in and off we go good well done. you're off you're okay steer to the right good big steer right steer back straighten up as well and off we go Squeeze Aaron. Squeeze Aaron. Squeeze Aaron. You did it well. <laughs> Squeeze Aaron. I'm squeezing. I'm You're not. I'm not. Second I'm not. gear. Good. Nice job. All right. You did well. Thank you to the person behind for being appreciative. That's not. That's lovely. We'll turn left, please, at the lights. What you do before you signal? Keep into the left behind this car. Check and signal, Aaron. Use your brake. Clutch down. Now, put your handbrake on. Put it into first. And then all you do to go is feed your power in you. Good. You did well with that. Well done. Good. Well done. And where do you need to check for cyclists? Yes, good. Squeeze your gas, Aaron. Squeeze your gas. Squeeze your gas. Come on, squeeze. And get a second gear in now before the corner. Well done. Good. And it's a left filter. We did the easier lesson. So where do you look at the end? Right and left. Who's coming? Nobody. What should we do? Go. You following the shape of our road? Yes. Are you squeezing your gas? Um, go on in, start building. There you go. Well done, nice job. Keep to your left a little bit, Aaron. Just relax your grip. Relax. Good, lovely. Did ever so well. Magic there. 
do you feel as though you need to stop and compose yourself anywhere or are you okay? I'm okay, just happy I did that. Now what could go on with these lights though? They could change. Anyone change. anyone close behind? No, okay. so we could stop heavily couldn't we? Yeah, but it's not. Be careful, now we're not. So you were just thinking it's not going to change just a little too soon there. Okay. Where you could have still stopped if they had have changed. Okay. All right. But you did brilliantly, well done. You still got to listen, haven't you? So handbrake is easy. First gear, and then just use your gas and feed the power in. Good. Straight to accelerate now. Come straight to accelerate. Good. And you go for your gears. Nice job. Did ever so well. Well done. Keep to the left a little. Good. We're just going to follow the road ahead as well, please. So. What else do we check in mirrors? How close are people? Yeah? It's quite close. Oh no, wouldn't that do that anymore? It's alright. We're going straight, yeah? Yes, please. Margie? No. How close are people behind oh, again? It's quite close. It's right now. Okay, could you start? We are through. Keep to the left curve, Aaron, because you're drifting out, because you're looking Sorry. for that white line and it disappears. Look far and look across at the left curb rather than looking down to the okay. middle. Yeah. Good. Try not to be on people. If we're catching, just back off your gas and check your mirrors. Use your brake a little bit. Good. Nice job, you're doing ever so well. Which is a little late again. So handbrake on. It's easy. Put it in first gear. Good. And then ready to go. So do you think that lucky handbrake's good? Yeah, it's just too slow on that clutch. What do you mean? Too slow pressing it or too late pressing it? Too too late is what I meant. I know. I'm just making sure that we've got exactly what you need to do. So lift the clutch and straight to accelerating. Uh, but you, yeah, you, you'd spot on with it. It was just a little late, so just listen. Um, it's a more difficult skill, I think, in this car than the last car because it's a little quieter. All right, I'm just going to turn the fan down a little. Idle, clutch down. So if off Still the brake, again. gas and bike. So if it's at idle, you need to press the clutch, remember, before you brake, don't you? So come off everything. If it's at idle, clutch down and then use brake. There you go. That was smoother, wasn't it? Gas and bite again, if they're moving. We are going to get to this next set of lights and turn left as well, Aaron. So it's not this junction that's all um, sort of like new and, and, and covered over. It's the one a little bit further up. All right? Pardon? I did. We're turning left at the next set of lights. Okay. It's not this one here that's all covered over. It's the one that's a little touch further. All right? You got power? Oh, I should have had that ready, shouldn't I? No, you did well. Squeeze, off we go. And follow your left curb across the junction rather than the, the centre white line. Oh, yes. Now, this is a funny situation. We've got a yellow box on the road. Clutch down. Less brake. Don't leave, leave the handbrake, don't need it. Good. And That's if you. Button. Good, off we go. Good, start to creep because I think the cars are moving down the side and we can clear it well enough, but it doesn't really matter if we don't. The reason being is that this junction is not in operation. That yellow box has been painted on the road to stop people right. going in it when those... What, know? what do you think? Brake. Clutch down. And brake. Mm -hmm. Handbrake? No. Oh, just move us up a little bit again. So yeah, yellow boxes are to there to keep clear and keep the junction clear. Clutch down again, use your brake again. Well done, you're doing well. Good, now you can put your handbrake on. Now you can actually take it out of gear as well, have not Neutral, good. Yeah, fast. good, neutral. Relax your feet. Take your feet off the pedals. Chill. Okay. When you see the cars moving, press the clutch, put it back in first, and just work your feet. Clutch fully down. Well done. Oh. Just the clutch was a little quick. Yeah. 
clutch fully up now, you don't need to sit half pressing it, squeezing off we go, but we are turning left, well done, well done with your mirrors, cracker, how sharp is this next corner Erin, leave very. the gear, leave the gear then, you said it was very, and you were going to go up to a higher gear, less gas, don't turn yet, keep it straight, and look left, steer, keep moving your hands, look up to where you want to be and aim, go on, well done, just relax your grip, you did really well though, well done. Very nice job. We're going to take the next left. It's just in the shadows down here, Erin. So before we do anything, well done, well done. Off the gas then. You don't really, it's just a bend. It's okay. not a problem that you've got okay. one on though. Have a listen. Will this gear be okay at this speed? Yeah. So you don't need to do anything and lean in your seat to get your best view around that corner. And there's a giveaway here that we're going to turn left at. So are we a title? Yes. yes, so clutch down, gently brake, check your mirrors, put a left signal on again, put it in first, gas and bite, and creep, and you have a little look to see when you fancy going, look everywhere Aaron, don't just stare, look everywhere, you following the shape of your bend, oh. so yes. handbrake on if we're on a hill, good, Turn this way. good, handbrake on if you're on a hill, swap your right foot over, can we go, good, yeah. steer around the shape of the bend, Look up, move your hands, try not to grip the wheel as tight, clutch fully up and straight to accelerating. And you're going to get second gear in at a safe time. Alright, I've gone round for this round. Too. Try on the bend, but look far to do it. Nice job. Great work. We're going to find somewhere safe to park. After Great. this cross the Honestly, road that's thingy. perfect. Who's around? Nobody. Is there any requirement for a signal then? No. Listen, we idle. Yeah, clutch down. down. Good, use your brake. Okay. Go a little closer. Yeah. Now put a left signal on for the car up ahead. Go a little closer to the curb. We keep getting straight. Stay right a little now. Look up. Not at the curb. Keep rolling. Good. Now, if you run out of momentum and you haven't quite finished your steer, put it in first gear, Aaron. Good. Gas and bite and just creep a little bit. Two hands on the wheel. Creep us forward and look up and straighten. We're going away now. That's better. Good. Hold on. Good. 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 Relax. Relax your feet. It is start stop as well. So one, two, three again, but down it. Uh, go on. What were you saying? Sorry. What do you mean? That's I said it's a start stop engine as well. So. Oh, so like normally you want me to press three buttons for the camera. Like you want me to press it in three times? Oh no, you're quite okay to be honest. It's okay. all okay. All Don't right. Need to press stop. No, you're totally fine. Okay. Any questions with anything? No. No. Um, you've done brilliantly. Um, I actually haven't worked that out whether the um, whether the dash cam stays on so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. When we're just parked here and the engine switches itself off, you can literally see whether it turns off leave it sound if it starts back up again we'll actually turn the car off all right it's not an issue that's that's irrelevant to be fair that's just so i can keep everything linked with the uh, the video cameras that's all but really really good i think you've done brilliantly with that any questions on driving a new car do you think you would have had more problems driving a new car no 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 just think about in that traffic situation so you said you can't go on the yellow boxes mm -hmm. But then what would you do? Would you just have to wait, like a keep clear sign? That's okay. exactly what it is. But um, what I was getting at with that as well was because it's a, it's a new set of traffic lights, it's a new junction, um, it's not really in operation yet. What's the whole idea of that keep clear as per se? To keep clear. But if there's no traffic coming out, is that irrelevant? It is really. Yeah. But... My advice would always be that if you were coming up there on your test and um, the examiner said nothing, and there's a yellow box there, okay. keep clear, okay. leave it clear, all right? On occasions when situations happen like that, I have known examiners to say, you don't need to worry about the keep clear, or they sometimes do it when they get you to move off on an angle from behind a parked car. So there might be a parked car on the left, <coughs> 
and they'll say pull up and park on the left leave yourself just enough room to get out and they may even say don't worry about the driveway just for a moment in other yeah. words normally you wouldn't park in front of the driveway occasionally they might say to you don't worry about it just for now so if you get no instructions just go by the rules so you know when we were behind that lorry truck thing yeah what speed if you know like the traffic light's going to keep changing what gear would you travel at one or two the gear suited to the speed that you're using so probably about one but if then if they go a little bit faster change into two okay but again that comes from listening so you've realized quite nicely that your clutch has been late a couple of times and that's not a big deal um you can feel it though you can yeah but use your ears to manage that and remember when we're down at idle speed we don't want to go any lower than that in oh, that no, I don't again. where you're off everything oh, and it's yeah. just taking itself all right yeah. all good any questions though your indicator is a little bit easier to use yeah sorry turn the um car is on. that you yeah um i'm gonna get you to do this now um you can turn the um radio down how do you think you're gonna do <coughs> that what do you think it's a new car try and find out volume button that's just gone up again it's got is it your voice no it's got gesture control it's a bit sad really but <laughs> you can turn it up like that <laughs> Fair enough. the only issue with it that i've just found i didn't even realize that if you're on your test and you're waving your hands around like this you may very well turn the radio up so yeah what would the what would happen in test if you did that no, no problems whatsoever you, you're quite all right um but just uh, just give this a twist back to the left there you go so there's no worries about having your radio on but um this gesture control I've just realised. What else does it? Is it just the volume? Uh, or no, else? It, it does a few things to be fair, but we'll go through them as time goes on. But um, that's one of the problems that I've just found on the first lesson with it. All right? That if you're waving your hands, and I do talk with my hands loads, it was me who turned it up, <laughs> you'd still know how to turn the radio up and down. All right? Um, even if it was up, you can turn it off just by pressing the off button, the off button as yeah. well. All right? And I'll just shut it up. Should we get going? Yeah. Good. Um, lights wise, which one did I press to turn the big lights on? The big light button. Go for it. Super duper. You ready to go? Yes, we are going downhill, which means... It's actually a little irrelevant in this car because the handbrake releases for you as and when it needs. But uh -huh. that frame of mind of... Um, it's not going to happen in every car. No. So I'm really glad that I've pushed the uphill downhill with you anyway. So you won't you won't have a problem in anything you drive, Aaron. Well done, good. Should we get going? Yeah. Go on in. Off we go. Well done, nice. Have the power. Damn radio. Good. We'll stop. Wave me hands out like a big fairy, haven't I? What do you do with the clutch after a car length is so well done? Yeah, well done. Good, nice job. So we've got priority really because the obstructions are on the opposite side, but you have to What's make heavy plant crossing mean? heavy vehicles, plant vehicles, okay. um, building vehicles, maybe lorries and the likes. All right. Uh, we've got a roundabout and we're going to be turning right, please. So, well done. When are you going to tell people we're turning right, Erin? Um, well, there's nobody here yet, but once we're Plenty on the track, on the roundabout, so I good. I well get done. So, get a signal in then. Yeah. And get looking to see when a gap's coming. Is there a gap now? Yeah. Squeeze your gas then. No. Get braking then, clutch down. Into first. Can oh. we go after him? Yeah. Go on the gas, start finding the bike. And away we go. Well done. Look where we're going to go, Erin. Go on. Squeeze your gas straight to accelerate. Going? Follow your right curb. Squeeze your gas and get going, Erin. You're staring at them. Look round the roundabout to where you're going to go. Straight we're not go now. We're not turning straight. We're not going straight. We're turning right. So how do you leave? Check this mirror, this mirror. Signal left. And go next to that left curb. Next to that left curb and follow it. And now find a safe oh. time for second. Goodness. 
find a safe time. That could have been a lot easier, couldn't it? Come on, get changing, Aaron. Hold on. Get squeezing the gas. I know, but you're slowing down and you're causing a few more problems with yes. the other vehicles because you're forcing people to overtake where otherwise they wouldn't have done. All right, so if you've got a torque or you've got a drive, um, <laughs> drive. Yeah, so good. Go on, get going, Aaron. Up to your next gear. Good. That's first. That relax first. your hands. You must relax. It's exactly the same as in the other car. All right. How far up there can you see? We all good? Well, yeah. Carry on then. Good. Make sure you're following your central line and going around where that central line is. Nice job. Well done. Lovely. Is your road clear up there? So, do we need to slow then, Aaron? No. Go on then, carry on. Push it a bit harder because it's a little bit. Yeah, it's good. Uphill. So, squeeze it more, yeah. It's exactly the same as we've been talking about, isn't it? Yeah. Be wary of these trucks. Hold on, have a little check behind. So, there's a keep clear here at the junction. Get braking, Aaron. Clutch down. Less brake, I think we can get past the junction, but we're going to stay clear of the crossing. Let's keep rolling. Put it into which gear. Keep so braking as we're doing it. Good. Keep straight, you're going in a bit, look past people. Well done, perfect. And then, what should we do? Yeah, you found that little handbrake. Good. Any questions? No. How do I know when he's about to go? What lights will come on? Look through. Look through. Look yeah, down so the side. I can see reflections. Yeah, there you go. I could see reflections in those railings, so you could see the other car's lights moving. Good, straight to a little bit of accelerating. What do you think? Have we got enough go speed for a second? I'll have speed off the Second gear is good. That's better. Good. Hold on. Just smooth gear changes out a little bit, Aaron. That's all. And are we at idle? Yes. We have to slow the clutch goes down. Do we need to? No. No. He's going. Anyone close behind in case the yes. crossing changes. So we've got to slow in a smooth manner if possible. You creating a space like you've done is really good. So what do we do with the clutch? We're at idle. Straight down. Clutch down. Put it in first gear. And then by all means move us up again. So a little bit of gas, a little bit of bite. What do you think? It's good. It's better with the clutch. That speed bump. Forget the speed bump, Erin. It doesn't like, matter. Not enough space. Doesn't matter. Okay. Clutch down and just gently slow. You're obsessed with the speed bumps. It's irrelevant to be honest. You could have been half over it, and it wouldn't have made any difference. Okay. All I right. don't know if you could stop on them. Of course, yeah, it makes some difference. Put your handbrake on as well. And if you look down the left-hand side, do you see that there is a cars coming out? Of there. Uh huh. But the cars moving. No. Is there a big queue? Yes. Take it out of gear then. Okay, does that mean I have the clutch then? Correct. And then again, the car shuts down, saves fuel, saves emissions. Okay, that makes we're sense. Sa we're saving the planet a bit. Have a look in your mirror. There's an emergency. The easiest job for that to do is to go right down the outside. Like there? Yeah. We cannot do a thing. Okay. Clutch down, put it in first, we're just getting ready. Use your gas, use your bike now, move forward Aaron. Well done, clutch down a little bit, steer onto this pavement a little bit. Now keep rolling, straighten up now, straighten up and keep going forward, you've done very, very well. Straighten up now, clutch down, stop, just stop. Good, go on the gas, go on the bike now, go on the gas and bike now Aaron. Look to your right and you can carry on. Really, really well done. Very well listened, Aaron. Superb, excellent. Good. Great. Try not to steer away. We're gonna to keep to the left-hand side. Yes, get a second. And we're gonna turn left at the lights. There is a little road beforehand, so we're not gonna signal. Who's behind and who's around? There's a man behind and there's no cyclist. No signal. Okay. Are we at idle? Yeah. Clutch down. 
Use your brake, you're just going towards the curb slightly. Go aim towards that car and stop. Here's the yellow box again. Well done, secure it up, take it out of gear. Good, relax. Well done. Now, it was easiest for the fire engine to get down the other line of traffic, but cars came the other way. So, so they shouldn't, in hindsight, they shouldn't have started coming down there? They, it was difficult for them to see. Okay. So what did we do to, to help out? Go onto the pavement. Yeah, we went up a dropped kerb and we just put our left wheels on that grassed area. Okay. Um, didn't panic, moved slowly and then left enough space behind for everything to come past. Are we going left at these lights, like down that road there? Good. No, to because we'd, al the we'd already be going down there. That's the next road on the left. What was the instruction that I gave you said at the oh. traffic lights? We're turning left. Which junction is controlled by traffic lights? That one. That's the one we're turning at. Then. You all right with that? It's a very mm -hmm. good question, though. Well done. Good. Any questions with the emergency services, the fire engine? No, just don't be an emergency. <laughs> what do you mean, don't be an emergency? <laughs> don't cause yourself to be one. <laughs> You're not wrong. So try not to panic. Just move to a space where they can uh, get past you and negotiate. But that's really So good. on roundabouts, what would you do? Because clear to a space where they could pass you. Clear to, clear to the safest place. Yeah, it may space. it may still be waiting at the giveaway line, they can still pass you. It depends, there's no hard and fast rules. Just don't panic, check your mirror, tell people what we're doing if needed, and then sort it out. But you did brilliantly with that, Aaron, well done. Good. Now, um, side to side of Bean. Side to side of what, sorry? The traffic side to side of Bean. The oncoming traffic are now moving. Press the clutch down, put it into first gear. Good. And then, literally, when we go, we're going to move, go behind where that silver Renault is, NJ10, and then put a signal on and go around the corner. Signal on after I've gone past this Yeah, here. good, so it's not misleading to people. And do check for cyclists as well. We've got a little area where they could be uh, just catching us up. Really well done, though. Oh, good. Good. So check for cyclists. Oh. Go. Go, on, go go yes you can yeah they've got to give way to you Aaron haven't they you're following the shape of our bend you're not you're going towards it don't turn yet now follow it and speed up good now good good so just with cars coming out from the side road Aaron just try not to just stare at them okay. think about priority think about who should go think the order of things yeah did really well though well listen Relax your grip though. Yeah, loosen. So why is my when I keep changing gears, why does it keep going shaky? It's because I'm not doing it's because I'm going straight up with my clutch. Yes. And you, you need to move. you need to feed feed it in smoothly. Okay. Correct. Absolutely. What should we do with the speed with these two people? Speed up. <laughs> not <joking>. Speed speed <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Superb answer, Aaron. Alright, keep concentrating because we're slowing yes, down. We're slowing down. Go on, keep everything moving. Look at the parked vehicles on the left if we've got keep enough it. room to, to lessen risk and keep yeah. away because you're a bit close to these and there's a parked van, you're going closer to it. Is there space to your right, Aaron? Yeah. So use it. Try and relax. Relax yeah. your hand pressure. Good. Do we need to be slowing? Go on and keep everything moving and going. What should we do with this one in front now? Slow down. Anyone behind us a problem? Got room to overtake it? Yeah. Good. Nice job. Are we clear to go? Yeah. Nice. Well done. Any issues behind us? Do you know where the car is to your right as well? Did well. Well done with the clutch. Very good. Sorry. Sorry. Good. Is that too much of a space I've left? No. Nope. What gear error? Good. <clears throat> as long as you're not misleading anyone that you're going to be parked or doing something different. Alright? What should we do with acceleration error? Come on. Good. Second gear straight away. Smoothly now. Don't, don't, don't rush your gear changes though because okay. You, you sort of like rush the action rather than just being smooth with it. So have another go into third. Don't rush the action. Good. Now smooth. That was a bit better, wasn't it? Good. Nice job. What could the lights do? Change. What do we need to know behind?
do I have priority? What do we need to know behind? There's people behind. Good. Yes, we do have okay. priority. How are we going to deal with the cyclists safely? Go Who's over overtaking there. us, Erin? Pardon? Who's overtaking us? We cannot go out then. When can we go out? Now. Out we go. Good. Keep going now. And now what go position? Check first. That way. Well done. Good. Nice job. So you can't just steer around the things that you don't like. <laughs> Be careful now. Danger. Yeah. So you've got to make sure. Anyone overtaken again? No. Good. Out we go then. Nice job. We need to slow down. No. We've got priority over the red one. Are you ready to slow if the lights change? Yeah. Who's close behind? Nobody. Not danger. Okay. We are through. So we've gone to gas a little. Go on the gas a little. Good. And again, before we slow down, how close are people? And you're going to start to tell them with our brake lights. Follow the shape of our road, Aaron. Don't go across the white. Uh, well done. Less brake, less brake, less brake. Put it in first gear. Catch it, gas and bite, and slowly away. Nice job. That was too slow on the clutch again, though. A little bit late with it, yeah. Straight to accelerate. When I say it. slow, I mean that was too late. I know. Good. Keep following our left curve, Aaron. And we are going to turn left at the lights, please. I'll tell the people after this sprint. Good shout. Excellent. Less gas. And don't go closer. You're looking at the wrong people, Erin. Leave the gear. Oh. Off the brake. Look round your corner and off we go. Because you're, you're looking at the traffic the other way rather than looking where you're going to go. Okay. Anyone overtaking us, Erin? No. Move around then. Good. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You were looking to the right rather when than... Okay. Looking round your corner. Smooth Who has gear priority change. there? You Me. were turning left so and they were turning right. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Keep going, Aaron, because you're a little slow. The road's good, so we're fine. Well done. We're going to park somewhere in on the left, just in here after the blue one. Do we need to tell anyone? Yeah. Super. Have a listen. What do you do with the clutch? Stay right a little now. Stay right a little. Good. Well done. Brilliant. Secure it all up. Good. Relax your feet. Excellent. I'm just going to get you to turn the big light on again. Go for it. I don't get that. So when we're coming up to the left, I can just, I don't need to worry about anything there. I can just go. You're turning left and oh. they're turning right. So I can just go. Okay. You're checking for those extreme situations, maybe where people haven't just, seen you. I'm just going proper fast. Yes. Okay, but in hindsight, I can just not worry about have them. A, and just have go. a little glance and just concentrate on your okay. corner. Because if you think, if you're staring to that right hand side there and. I'm like, not following the road. Enough. And what if a kid's crossing the road exactly where you're trying to go? Yeah. Okay. All right, well done. Um, that was honestly really positive with that today. Um, are you surprised on how it went? Yeah. Good. How was driving in the dark for the first time? It honestly didn't really make much of a difference to me. It doesn't to some people. It does for others, but it doesn't for some. I think driving at this time, I think, I thought driving at this time would be worse than it was. This okay. would be worse as well. Good, good. Um, we've learnt a little bit about what to do in queues. Yeah. We've learnt certain things about yellow boxes we've had a couple of them to deal with yeah um, and even like that, that turn that i've done before i'm still learning stuff about that i can just i can just go you can just go can okay really good um it's good that you were you were asking questions about a few bits and bobs there as well well done um is there anything at all that should be scary about driving a new car not at all not at all not okay at all. apart yeah. i think the only bit that people might should or not be wary about hmm. But just have a look at is the um, seat stuff. That's probably the only thing that's different, like how to move the seat and that. Yeah, that is going to be different on different cars. Um, do the pedals feel a little bit different? Yeah, you've said about the the smoothness of the gear changes today. Um, honestly, I've only driven it probably about thirty miles myself. I haven't done much in it, mm. and even my gear changes weren't quite as smooth as they should have been when I first drove it. And that's just the different feel of the clutch and the different sort yeah. of like the the that thing really helps as well. The head up display. 
yeah, because it stops you from actually looking down as well. Cool. And it actually encourages you to look over, not down. Excellent. I thought that that would be a good thing for people as well. But you're blessed with that, Erin, to be fair. Um, you're not going to have loads of cars. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> with a head-up display. No. Okay, however... Um, the good thing that it will do, though, it will stop you gawping at your tiles all the time, mm -hmm. won't it? Yeah? And honestly, as time goes on, you'll use you'll, the speed limit less yeah. and less, and you drive to what you're actually seeing. Yeah, and like, you drive, you said that you can hear when it's at 30. I still can't, and all okay. honesty. Right. But that should help me still be able to, like, put it together. That makes sense. Good, absolutely. Um, you we're really good moving the car off the way that we've taught you to move the car off with gas and feeding the power in really has worked hasn't it and that proves that some people get in um, different cars and struggle you have not straight from the off you've got in a, a much bigger car as well does it feel a lot bigger no it doesn't okay. does it amazing okay um it's only probably about 18 inches longer and probably an inch or two wider so it's not massive different so when you learn in a car if you learn properly and get taught the correct things you should be able to drive anything and you will be able to and that's a good good confidence one from today um, what else what else is new um, the handbrake how's the lucky handbrake less <laughs> less faffing really yeah it is isn't it so um, manufacturers nowadays they're going across to these electric handbrakes because they honestly allow allows people atten attention to be out in the windscreen. It's not there. You have to keep worried about like taking it off because it just does it, it. Okay. However, do you would you still feel confident in? Um, yeah. Yeah, using a handbrake. But you're still sort of are using it. You're just doing one less thing by not taking mm. it off. So it just makes it a little easier, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Um, but well done, dark, new car, um, and we've done more tonight than we, we ever have done. Honestly, cracker, well done, good. Can you drive home? No. Thank you. Do you really want me to drive home? I don't mind. You can drive home. Okay. Say goodbye to everyone. Bye. What's the eco for?